Evolution is a concept that many characters in Boruto have brought up before, especially within the Yosuzuki clan. Characters like Momoshiki and Ishiki had goals of obtaining chakra fruits and updating their genetics in order to reach a higher level of being. And we've already seen a character like this with Chibai Osusuki, who has devoured so many chakra fruits that he has ascended into a higher dimension compared to everyone else in the series. With the introduction of the Shinju enemies in the past couple of chapters of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, Jura, the leader of the Shinjus, established Established his goal of devouring Naruto Uzumaki. And even though this isn't an Otsutsuki, which is what the Ten Tails are programmed to eat by their instinct, within their ability of self awareness to create new thoughts and ideas, I think it's very possible that Jura can evolve into a stronger being, maybe even into an Osusuki. Now, that may seem far fetched considering that in order to become an Osusuki, one would have to gain access to the Karma Seal, and a legit Karma Seal as a matter of fact, like with Boruto and Kawaki. Boruto had the privilege of having the best genetics possible so becoming Momoshiki's vessel was the ideal scenario for Boruto to turn into an Osusuki. Whereas with Kawaki, the Kata organization had to sacrifice tens of children's lives in order to find a perfect vessel for Ishiki. And because of this, both Boruto and Kawaki's genetic makeup went from human to Osusuki within a span of a couple of years. Now for a character like Jura who has desires of devouring a non-Osusuki such as with Naruto, he will have to get close to Kawaki in order to get to him, since currently the only character who can get to him is Kawaki thanks to his dojutsu, where there will be a point where Jura and Kawaki will cross paths. Most likely this will lead to them having a battle since Jura will force Kawaki to get him to Naruto, however, we all know how Kawaki feels about Naruto and protecting him from any type of danger is priority number one. Devouring an Osusuki is the innate desire for all of these Shinjus anyway, and if worse comes to worse, Jura could potentially forgo trying to devour Naruto right away and target Kawaki in instead. That being said, even if Jura does devour Kawaki, wouldn't that make Jura turn into a divine tree and start sucking the planet dry to harbor chakra fruit? The answer is yes, but that isn't Jura's deepest desire after all. With characters of these power levels even giving Boruto some trouble when they first initially fought, there's no reason for them to just stop right there in terms of progressing their overall power. As mentioned before in some videos, with these Shinjus having the ability of self-awareness, I think it's scary that these villains have the ability to learn and gain more abilities later on. While they can use ninjutsu on some of the people that have turned into a tree, such as with Sasuke and Moegi, there is a chance that these characters become interested in finding ways of higher sources of power, such as with the Osusuki. And the only way to do this as of right now is to obtain a karma seal from another living Osusuki. And currently there are three living Osusuki right now in the series, with Boruto, Kawaki, and Momoshiki. And despite Momoshiki becoming a separate entity, he can no longer resurrect anymore. But he and Boruto have essentially become one person after the events of part 1. If a character like Jura wants to obtain this power, he would have to force Boruto or Kawaki to give him the karma. For a character like Boruto, I think it's safe to say that's not happening since the start of the time skip, Boruto has willingly not used the karma for his own safety even when in battle against the Shinjus where he has relied on his own power that he has trained with under Sasuke. However, when it comes to Kawaki, he has always relied on using the karma whenever he got into a sticky situation. Sure, he has shown some impressive feats without the karma such as tricking Ishiki with a shadow clone to kill him in the end. But since getting his karma back, Kawaki has activated it at will whenever danger presents itself. Even in the beginning of the time skip when he was fighting the Claw Grimes, after getting caught off guard, Kawaki powers up his karma at will in order to protect himself. And by no means this displays that he is weak, he's probably gotten a lot stronger post time skip, especially with the use of the karma. However, now that there is actually someone who is trying to target Naruto's life, Kawaki is gonna have to be on demon timing when it comes to stopping this threat. Even though there are 5 chapters into 2 Blue Vortex, he has no knowledge of Jura yet, and Jura hasn't mentioned Kawaki either, but they will eventually come face to face with each other. Once Kawaki realizes what Jura is trying to accomplish, he will not hold back at all in order to end his life. Kawaki will do whatever it takes to protect Naruto, where he was unapologetic when he first killed Boruto in the Kodark, and then he threw him under the bus to save his own name after the village realized he did something to Naruto. That's why this battle between Kawaki and Jura will be so important because the anger of Kawaki could pique Jura's interest when it comes to evolving 
preserving his overall power. Devouring an Otsutsuki is ultimately the main goal, but with their thirst for more knowledge about the shinobi worlds and the Otsutsukis, the only thing that these Shinju know about is their innate desire to devour Otsutsukis and all life on the planet, dead or alive, which the divine trees do keep a record of. And according to Jura, their overflowing curiosity and thirst for knowledge have surpassed their drive to devour somebody like Boruto, where in the last chapter, the Shinjus have established their goals to devour a non Osusuki instead. And I actually think that their goal will evolve past that, to now that they yearn for more knowledge. Whenever these Shinjus run into their targets, it's possible that these enemies could want to desire more, thanks to learning from not only their future battles, but the realization of how strong some of these characters truly are. When Boruto first battled these Shinjus 4 on 1, he relied on his own skill and ninjutsu to stay alive. However, with a character like Kawaki, who solely relies on the karma now, this could definitely pique the interest of a character like Jura, who's on the quest for more knowledge. That thrive for knowledge is overtaking his will to devour Otsutsuki's overall, and if he wants to get access to Otsutsuki-like powers, Jura may want to reconsider his goal of just devouring Naruto and another Otsutsuki, but to become an Otsutsuki instead. Now, I've already mentioned that Jura could maybe get a karma from Boruto or Kawaki, but another way would be through Amato. Amato has the knowledge to reconstruct karma, however, that would require the host body to already have Osusuki DNA residing within themselves. For somebody like Kawaki, it was simple as he already had Ishiki's powers dorming inside of him. For a character like Jura, he too would have to gain access to Osusuki data that is already downloaded on his body before a karma could be built onto him by Amato. And of course, Amato is someone who has switched sides many times before and his own goal is to revive his daughter through Kawaki's karma. And after the latest chapter, Amato did deduce that his memory was altered by somebody else and he realized that the karma he reconstructed for Boruto is on Kawaki's body. Since Jura is targeting Naruto and most likely wants to hunt down Kawaki in order to get to him, Amato will do whatever it takes to keep Kawaki alive to help her resurrect his daughter since his daughter's DNA is included inside of Kawaki's karma seal. This could mean allowing Jura access to the Dakakoten dimension where Naruto is at but this will only happen out of Kawaki's will. And with Kawaki, he is so hell-bent on protecting Naruto that he is willing to sacrifice his own life to save him. If that means dying to Jura, so be it. Now, can this actually happen where Kawaki does die? The answer is actually yes, and let me explain how. Since Kawaki is confirmed to be an Otsutsuki and has mastery of the karma, one of the abilities that Otsutsuki have is to give others their karma seal. We saw this with Momoshiki when he was killed by Boruto during the movie, and during the code arc, Kawaki suggested to Boruto that he should give Kode karma and make him his vessel. And while this did not happen and Boruto isn't willing to use his karma anymore, Kawaki is. In the scenario that he does get killed, Kawaki could give off a karma to a vessel where he can resurrect after a certain period of time. If so, would Kawaki's vessel be Jura who would gain his abilities like Ishiki's dojutsu or would it be someone else? Ultimately, Jura would be at a crossroad when it comes to devouring Naruto. He doesn't have the ability to get to the dimension where Naruto is at and will have to confront Kawaki one way or another. And personally, I think he will have to evolve into a higher being like an Otsutsuki in order to get to that dimension or force somebody like Amato to help him by giving him more power. Since his thirst for knowledge supersedes his desire to devour an Otsutsuki like Boruto or Kawaki. So let me know how you guys feel about this video in the comment section below. How do you think Jura will get to Naruto? I've already made a video discussing about this initially but I personally think that Jura will have to evolve into a higher being such as an Otsutsuki to get to that dimension. Especially when it comes to gaining Ishiki's Dojutsu, that is possibly the only way to get to Naruto. And since the Shinjus have a record of all life, dead or alive, on the planet itself, thanks to them being divine trees, Jiro will have knowledge about Kawaki and most likely this power as well. And when it comes to this future battle, I am looking forward to it simply because we are going to see Kawaki at full power. Obviously, we've seen Boruto flex his powers with the flying Raijin and whatnot, but I think it's about time we see the other main character show off his new powers in the time skip. Yes, we've seen him fight a little bit with some of the claw grams and he did use his karma but that obviously isn't him at full power and just like with Boruto I also think Kawaki has some abilities hidden away that he is going to use in this upcoming battle against Jura. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. Do you think Jura will evolve into an Osusuki like with Boruto and Kawaki? So if you like this video hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well and have a good day. Peace.